Keith for KMA's Corner. I am back. Yes, I am. To do some more exciting things on my Minecraft Uncut. 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 And I have to uh, come straight with you. I did some stuff. I was on this world twice since my last recording. Shame on me. I was really upset with... Uh, the slime trunk not working. But. Oh. He's not here now. I saw a slime here. There was a slime in here. Um, I came in here just to double check to make sure that this was a slime trunk. And there was a slime in here. Lovely. Lovely. So, that is an actual working slime trunk. Now. The reason I was here, the second reason why I was here, was a reason I am quite shocked, and uh, something happened that is very sad. Very, very sad. And I'm really upset that this happened when I was not recording since this is minecraft uncut and i have a whole bunch of empty chests there and it breaks my heart to what happened very badly what did i do with this stuff and unfortunately um you guys will probably be very upset. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I am making a chest. One, two, three. I'm going to kill something over here. Oh, he died. Um... I just kind of gave you a glimpse of what had made me upset. And I just showed it to you again. And the smart people will figure it out. If you really, really pay attention, something is different. And it's not that I have bats flying around here. Oh, I guess I can't plant, plant axes, but I can plant some of this. And when I get to the location, I will tell you exactly what happened. And it has nothing to do with the color of this horse. Uh-huh. I came. I had an idea <laughs> for uh, a new build that I'm going to be doing starting today. It's not really a build today because what I have... what. One, two, three, four, five pieces of diamond in my existence on this world. I really, 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 really need to get diamond. So I'm going to start mining some stuff. I have plenty of food. I have three of these. I am doing this, making some stone slabs. I have a chest. I have a piece of leather and some bones and I'm gonna bring a sign with me to label what I'm gonna make I'm gonna bring my bed let us make some iron pickaxes because um, I'm gonna start doing the mine and I have found the place where I'm gonna do it and that was part of the reason why I came onto this world, was to find this place. So let's get a couple of these. I don't really want to enchant these too much. And... I just want efficiencies on these. So let's go to where we're going to be mining. And I will tell you 
what had happened. <laughs> Very sad. I guess, let's just say, um, horses don't swim. And when I came onto the world, I wanted to check um, where I'm going to make my mine. And I like doing mines in extreme biomes over here. And I'm thinking I actually designed, uh, partially designed, the way the mine is going to look. And I am a Lord of the Rings fan, so guess what? Uh, it's going to be not exactly like Moria, but I am going to make a place kind of like Moria. A uh, dwarven kingdom, uh, not so scary, but a dwarven kingdom itself. And it's going to take forever. Um, and that's part of the reason why I said I was going to possibly change this to a streaming world because... Ooh, more pumpkins. Um, didn't see that in the overview map. Because it will take me many weeks of work to get this right. So initially, uh, last week, I was over here and I looked at this mountain and it looks really cool because it's higher than the cloud top. And I was thinking, well, I can, that's where I'll put my mines. Oh look, there's an entrance right here. Then I decided to come on here and scout the place out before um, the next episode, which is now. So I brought chocolate cream over here to check this place out. And everything was going wonderful until I decided to climb this up. This right here with chocolate cream. And I got into this waterfall right here and it's very sad and he got stuck you know when you go into water that is too deep excuse my insolence there I think I came like right here and I fell off the horse and he fell like right here and I was unable to get up to him, and he drowned. So chocolate cream is no longer. My first tame animal on my world has died. And the worst part about it, he died on a series called Minecraft Uncut. And it wasn't filmed. <laughs> so... We're going to take this moment. And we're going to put him down. Put a little bit of his body in here. And there's chocolate cream's remnants. sad here lies chocolate chocolate cream he can't swim So sad. I didn't even get him any flowers. And I only knew him for like two hours. Hmm. 
he'll be surely missed. Right? Bye, buddy. Have a good life in heaven. Well, there's death one. So where? Where was I going to do this? Um, if you know of Moria from the Lord of the Rings, it is a cliff face like this. And there's a waterfall like that. And there's a door with a nice image. You know, you speak friend and enter. And there's like a swampy type um, pond in front of it. And then there's the entrance and it goes all through the mountains. And it's supposed to actually be 40 miles wide in real life. So I was looking for where I should put the actual entrance. And I think, um, I don't know where I think. Where was I going to put it? Let me just see if there's uh, the place over here that I was going to do it. Um, I also rendered in some of this world. There's some really cool looking stuff over here. No drowning allowed. This is Chocolate Cream's place. Lots of lava. But this is a nice um, looking biome that you guys haven't seen yet. Okay, this ends down there. Oh, I didn't bring a lot of torches. Let me uh, get some. Oh, I didn't even bring any wood. Dang me. I wanted to bring a stack of uh, logs. I'm going to get some of this coal because I didn't bring torches either. I was too busy worried about killing my horse off of screen on a series that I'm not supposed to play at all off screen. But, you know, I'm making designs outside in the creative world. So when it comes time to build them here, um, I don't know how to do it. So let me collect some of this up. Go find out where we should put the entrance. Might as well light, light this up. Oh, might as well go to sleep real quick. Don't want to be digging the entrance while things are killing me. So, um, the main room that I have in mind for this place is gonna be um, 180 blocks by 180 blocks about 40 to 50 blocks high and that's gonna take a very long time to mine and if I'm doing a Minecraft um, uncut that means I am supposed to show everything that I do mining wise and at the top of the mine I'm going to have the Dwarven King Chair looking out over the kingdom. And this would be a wonderful kingdom. So I'm thinking of putting a chair in there or in there. So he can look out over his kingdom. Which is pretty vast. Oh, so let me uh, cut down a couple of these trees. So I have wood for torches. Because I did come unprepared again. I was just sad about chocolate cream. Ugh. And that's my last. Yeah. Dang it. Well, I can make another one real quick. Sorry for the weird beginning. I am sad.
stuff out. Chocolate cream. He meant so much for me. For that five minute ride I gave him. So I think I am going to put the entrance right here. And I'm going to widen it up. Widen, widen it up. Um, in the future, but right now, I don't really care. And basically this whole episode will be me digging. A little bit different than I did last episode. I'll show you my mining strategies. What I think is the best way to get diamonds. I have done this in the past in other videos. If you've been watching my videos for a little while, you know. I think this might be good for the trees. I wonder if I should go steal some of uh, Chocolate Queen. Chocolate creams, bones, and make a big. I wonder if I should do it here. That's such a great place to enter. What's down here? Nothing. So I could fill in this hole and use this as the entrance, maybe. This one doesn't go anywhere either. But let me get some of this coal again. Because we need the coal. Especially seeing I left it all back at my spawn area. Okay. Let's go and start digging in. How much wood do I got? I got 19 pieces. Yeah, that's good enough. 20. Oh wait, I got no, oh, I got 30 blocks of wood. Okay. So I have the whole design down how I uh, want this area to look. So basically, I'm going to have a the entrance. I'm just not uh i'm not really gonna be building it right now um but i do want the entrance to be here and it's probably going to be four by four or five by five entrance with a big gate here and i'm going to put a couple of huge trees next to this because in the movies the trees are uh pretty massive and in here, I, how many blocks in should we go? One, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. At the twenty block mark, which is right here, I'm going to make a room. Three, four, five, four, five. Um, that would be the main kind of like a foyer for the place. So it's gonna be like this again. One, two, three, five. It's not gonna be too huge. It's just gonna be a normal, typical five by five room. I guess. Let me make sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This will be big enough. And um, from here, I'm going to have uh, two staircases. Oops. One, two, three, four. This will be the last one. Two staircases. One going up to the King's Hall which will look out over the thing from um, over this area from let me just put a torch down for you 
that will look over the water. It's a little different than, you know, it's not going to be an exact replica of the Lord of the Rings stuff. Because that's for masochistic peoples. Definitely getting a lot of gravel. So from this room, um, there we go. I'll put the torches there, there, there. And obviously, um, I'm just doing this real quick. This little section. Because a room of the size doesn't take too long to really mine out. Just so I know what I'm going to be doing here. I remember in the movies, like uh, when the reverse sphincter monster that tries to attack um, Frodo. I forget which movie it was. Uh, tears down the entrance and destroys it. And then they get into an area kind of a little bit bigger. And it may even be bigger than this. I may, uh, I should actually make this a rectangle. I mean, a square room. It's a rectangle room right now. But I don't want to use up all my tools already. I just want to go mining. Let's see what the dimensions of, of this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven. So we should add another five. Make us eleven by eleven. Sorry, guys. For the digging. 